the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get rid of these dots. I think we'll do that first, replace them, get the abalone in, and then uh, look at carving the neck. Um, possibly sorting this key life thing and uh, getting the, 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 stri the screw files put in things. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these dots out, shall we? Up to five hundred grit. It's looking quite good. Got a nice machine going on. It'll look great once it's oiled up. Frets in and order. The frets will hide all the sort of little, little teary bits uh, around the slots and that. Yeah. Next up, I'm going to radius. So I've, uh, I've been marking up the lines. I will stick a link to uh, the really guitars video in the description on um, the facet method and how you get your lines and stuff. Yeah. It just explains so much better ideas, so we'll just do that. Anyway, let's go and radius this. But yeah, carve the neck.
hole here. I was thinking about plugging it but if you do like this six it's going to just come right off the end anyway. I'm thinking what I should do is just do a, a wider curve and you know just take it out all together. Do some of that instead and just remove that one all together. I'll need to plug this one as well because it's too close to the edge. I want it back a little bit but the new hole and the ferrule will hide that one anyway. So that plug won't really show. I just need a back a bit from the edge to do the chamfer. And that one obviously is just useless. So I think I'm going to chop that, that whole that section off there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remove this and file down. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably fill a bit of give us super glue and sawdust in here as well.
That looks absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. It's got this right in the corner here. The router cannon doesn't fit in there. Files easy enough though. Huh? Cool. Yeah. I'm glad I went for it. I think what I'll do is I'll carve the rest of this in with the uh, matching the rest of the neck. I think that'd be a good idea. And uh, hmm. well, it's a guitar I'm keeping anyway, so if, if at some point if the neck buckles or anything because I've done this too short or whatever it doesn't matter it's my guitar I'll just make a new neck so yeah That's good though. This worked out really well that. <laughs> Get your access up to the 22nd fret and things. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Fretboard's looking good with those uh, Avalon dots. Still gotta do the side ones. I might wait till I do the fret first, I'm not sure. I might just tape up and mark it. I'm not, I don't know. I'll figure it out still. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. That's all going great. For some reason these ferrules are really tight in these holes, I had to, I don't know why. Sometimes I drill them with the uh, forstner bend, the, the ferrules just pop straight in. And other times they don't and I have to use the Dremel to uh, sand it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's kind of inconsistent. Okay. Um, so now anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to, I'm just going to do more sanding on the neck and things, you know. I didn't bother filming all the volute stuff because I've already, I've got lots of videos up doing that already, so. Yeah, but I'm going to focus on just refining the sanding of the neck and things, you know. Usual story, touchy-feely, smoothy, lovely, goody-goody, happy days. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you all soon. <laughs>